These are live pictures uh, from the Guru Cemetery in Abuja where the body of uh, former Chief of Staff to the President uh, Malamaba Kiari will be laid to rest. We still have our correspondent uh, Femi Akonde, live for us in Abuja. Femi, uh, tell us more on what you are able to I, see. I'm now being joined by the Senior Special Advisor to the... Okay, so, um, sir, um, the Senior Special Advisor to the President on uh, Media and Publicity now joins us, sir. Indeed, a devastating news for not just the Presidency, but also for Nigerians. How is the President taking this? Well, it's a, deep, uh, it's a deeply shocking incident uh, because uh, Abba Kari is uh, it's like a pillar there in the Presidency. is a rallying point for the entire workforce working for the president he has had a long relationship with the president more than 40 years of being together he had a full understanding of the president he knew exactly where the president stood on every issue and so therefore he was there to fit of the president because this is what the president lived, believed and Abba Kari was there to ensure that president Buhari at the end of his Two terms leaves behind legacies that will last and for which he'll be remembered for. And these are the things that that, that Abba Kari cared for. So how is the president finding consolation in all of this? Because from what you've said, this man has been in the picture from um, the word go. Well, you know that uh, matters of uh, life and death, they are, not, they, are not, they are not things that we have a choice in. Uh, it's providence that decides who goes and who is here. So the president, obviously, uh, as a religious, deeply religious person, takes it that it cannot be helped. And at the end of it, all of us will also go in that way. So the book is being interred now. Let me just allow you to go and pay your last respect to the chief of staff. Well, thank you very much. But please allow us to make the point that this burial, the, the funeral and the burial are all strictly private. After the burial, we expect that all those who even volunteer to come, go home. There will be no ceremonies such as uh, the paying of uh, condolence visits and all of that. No. We want Nigerians to observe the regulations as put in place by the NCDC and the Federal Minister of Health, so that we all stay healthy and uh, live to be there tomorrow. All right, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, God give the presidents and indeed Nigerians the positive to bear the loss. Well, there you have it. The senior special uh, assistant to so the president of media and publicity telling us about the life and times of Abakiari and how closely he worked with the president, especially in achieving uh, his visions for the country. First, he started with the change agenda and then moved to the next and uh, moved to the next level agenda of the presidency. But I leave you now with visuals of the final interment of Abakiari Chief of Staff for President Muhammad Buhari. <laughs>
Is there a right for about Kiaru, Komachi for staff, which was the first Yeah. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes,
Abba Kiari, Chief of Staff to President Muhammad Buhari. It looks like everything has been put in place before uh, he's finally committed uh, to Mother Earth. Before now, a prayer was said for the repose of his soul at the defense guest house in Maitama, where uh, dignitaries all converged to pay their last respect to the chief of staff and influential member of President Muhammad Buhari's administration. He has been with the president since 2015 when he was appointed as chief of staff and since then he's wielded a great influence within the presidency. The implementation of President Muhammad Buhari's policies and helped in the coordination of affairs within the presidency. Assistant of the President and Media Publicity Karabashiu, and he shared with me how closely Abakari worked with the President and helped him achieve in achieving some of um, his administration's plans, like in the railway sector, in the petroleum sector, in the power sector, and all other critical sectors of the economy. That Abakari played a critical role in helping Mr. President achieve all of these. And looking at how closely he has worked with the President, indeed, his demise would really uh, devastate the President. But well, he finds, according to Garibashi, uh, he finds solace in the fact that uh, death is inevitable and all of us will die one day. The security around here is tight just to ensure that uh, there is no freedom of law and order. The social distancing is also being adhered to, even though not a hundred percent, but to a large extent, people around here are making efforts to adhere to the social distancing protocol at uh, by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC. More for a lot of people around here, government officials, appointees within the presidency who have worked closely with the chief of staff so the president Abakiari indeed his family as we hear is also very devastated uh, by the news of his death uh, just about three weeks ago uh, news broke that he was he tested positive for uh, the coronavirus and again a statement was released by the presidency on the verified Twitter handle of the presidency confirming that indeed Abba Kiari had tested positive for the coronavirus and in that statement he said that he'll be going to Lagos to make an uh, he'll be going to Lagos for treatment and he has made personal arrangements for his uh, treatment that he had put all of this in place so as not to burden the uh, public health system and since he left for Lagos uh, went to Lagos for treatment we didn't hear so much uh, from him no one knew about the state of his health if he was recovering or in what health condition he was until last night when again news broke that he had died when uh, the special advisor to the president of media and publicity Femi Adishino put out that statement 
announcing the sad loss of the chief of staff to the president, Abba Kiari. And since then, he has been trending on Twitter. If you go on Nigerian Twitter, Abba Kiari is the number one trending issue. People are talking about him. A lot of um, condolences pouring in from state governors, the president of the Senate, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, political leaders, religious leaders from all quarters. Condolences are pouring in for Abakiari, a man who many consider as the pillar of President Muhammad Buhari's administration. And so also many people are talking or wondering how this administration will indeed cope with the death of Abakiari, a man who is sometimes considered as, or some people say is the backbone or right-hand man of President Muhammad Buhari. Before testing positive for coronavirus, Abakari had traveled to Germany to meet uh, with CMN and um, he also traveled with the Minister of Power, uh, all in a bid to negotiate with uh, energy companies to find a way of uh, bringing a lasting solution to the power problem in the country. Uh, it was when he returned from that trip and of course Germany was uh, a high-risk country because the, the country also had so many infections, so many ca confirmed cases of coronavirus. It was when he returned for that, from that trip, uh, he, went, um, via, he returned via London and then to Egypt and to Nigeria. When he returned, he then tested positive for coronavirus went to Lagos to seek treatment but didn't make it he died yesterday well his body has been committed to Mother Earth and uh, we can see uh, the, the diggers um, pouring back um, the sand into the grave uh, to cover uh, his body that would be his final resting place here we have seen the national coordinator of the presidential task force on COVID-19 the former governor of Borno State, who is now a senator, uh, the GMD of NNPC, ministers like the Minister of Communication, the Minister of Aviation, permanent secretaries, even the uh, former permanent secretary of uh, the State House, and other top uh, government officials all here to pay uh, their last respect to a man with whom they walked very closely These are live pictures of the final burial of Abba Kiari, Chief of Staff to President Muhammad Buhari. This picture, transmitting these pictures live from in Abuja, the federal capital city. Officials of the NCDC that handled uh, the body have had to disinfect uh, their bus as soon as the body was taken out of the bus and uh, they are even um, disinfecting right now the casket with which uh, he was uh, brought to the cemetery. All of these measures are just to ensure that uh, 
nobody is exposed to any uh, sort of risk but of course the ncdc uh, says so far there is no evidence to prove that uh but that persons who Earlier, the special, senior special assistant to the president of media and publicity, Malam Garbashewu, told me that uh, after now, everyone would depart and go back to their homes to continue with the lockdown uh, imposed by the federal government. Uh, there will be no condolence visits to the bereaved families. Uh, all of this is to ensure that uh, uh, there is strict compliance to uh, the protocols of social distancing and uh, avoiding uh, crowded areas uh, that the NCDC has put in place as one of the precautionary measures against uh, COVID-19. Even right here at the cemetery, uh, there is a sufficient supply of hand sanitizers. We can see from time to time people are sanitizing their hands. Everyone are here with uh, their nose mask. And just some all are also trying to uh, adhere to the social distancing protocol. All of this is to ensure that everyone is kept safe. Safety first is the word around here. And indeed, this again brings uh, to the front of Bona the issue of the coronavirus, the unseen enemy that is uh, ravaging uh, the world. And indeed, Nigeria is getting a fair share of it, with figures rising now and almost getting uh, to 500, with the deaths also in double digits. But also, a glimmer of hope in Nigeria people are also getting discharged people also recover from the corona virus after being treated at uh, the isolation centers government approved isolation centers across the country Uh, the death of the form of the chief of staff, the president, further reinforces uh, the message of the federal government that indeed COVID-19 is real and all hands must be on deck to break the chain of transmission, flatten the curve and slow down the spread of this uh, a deadly virus. <laughs> 
Uh, his body has been interred, committed to Mother Earth. Uh, sympathizers are just uh, cycling. Uh, sympathizers are cycling. Uh, the, the, yeah, his body was committed. To وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ الَّذِي تَسَاءَلُونَ بِهِ وَالْأَرْهَامَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ عَلَيْكُمْ رَقِيبًا يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَقُولُوا قَوْلًا سَدِيدًا يُصْلِحْ لَكُمْ أَعْمَالَكُمْ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ وَمَن يُطِعِ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ فَقَدْ فَازَ فَوْزًا عَظِيمًا أَمَّا بَعْدُ The student is like the house so as I say, don't go out and 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 go out. Kuma kwa daga cikin mu za ta ziyarce shi ko ba dade ko ba jima ba a tabbata a duniya ne shi yasa annabi sai rada aminci tabbata a gare shi ya ga an bunna wani mutum kaman haka ana kuka sai zo ya sabo wanda suke janaza sai yake ce musu ya iko wani limitil hadha fa'id ya ku yan uwa na da fatangwacin abinda kake wa dan uwanku nan to kowa ya tana shi saboda yau an kawo wani ji an kawo wani ji bi an kawo wani kada kai wata kila kallon mutum 100 mai kabar ta ko sama da haka to akwai ranar da kuma mu zo a kawo ba zai mu gama rayuwar duniya mu muna kawo su ba za akwai ranar da mu din za a kawo a gunne to wannan bi hakika mutuwa wa'azi ne shi yasa shi abubuwa da manzon Allah sai ya da aminci su tabbata a gare shi abun da yake rana wa'azi yace akwai mutuwa na biyu ina kyautata masa zato cewa bisa ga bayanin da na samu jiya hawar da ya rasu kusan awa ne a cikin ranar juma'a Kwanza Allah ya kira daga cikin alamar kyakkyawan karshe na mutum yayi nasara a barin duniya shine ya rasu ranar juma'a na biyu na daga cikin shahada kwanza Allah ya ce dukkan wanda annoba ta kashe shi in dai mai imani ne to yayi shahada ne so bin hakika wadannan abubuwa guda biyu manya ne na farko rasuwa juma'a na biyu rasuwa dalilin annoba shahada ne ko sai na beke cewa idan annoba ta zo wanda ta dauki ransa in mai imani ne ma min abdin yaqa'u fi ta'un fa yamkut fi baladihi sabiran yahtasibu annahu la yusibuhu illa ma kataba Allahu lahu illa kana lahu mithla ajr ash-shahid duk wanda ta dauki rayuwarsa ba a ce mutum yayi ganganci ya mutu ba amma mutu ya dauki dukkan precautions zai iya yi ta zama sanar da rasuwarsa to insha Allahu ta'ala shahada yayi to wannan abubuwa guda biyu abun a masa kuma farin ciki ne rasuwa a juma'a da kuma dalilin annoba to hakika wadannan ni'imomi ne wanda ba kowa Allah ta'ala yake bawa ba muna roƙon Allah ya kankare masa zunuban sa gaba na karshe iyayenmu da suke wurin da kuma wanda suke shugabanni duka aurin sun ba da shawarar ba bukatan yanzu komawa a matsayin karban gaisuwa saboda promoting social distancing daga nan kusan kowa an sallame shi ba zai kuma dawo a zauna ana ci gaba da karban gaisuwa ba saboda daman matuya yawan karban gaisuwa din gaskiya al'ada ne so ba ma wani abu ne da yake wai yake da matuya a cikin addini ba kawai ka'ida wanda ka san an masa rasuwa ko miji wacce ce ko baban wane ne ko abokin wane ne duk hanya da ka samu kai ta'aziyya wannan iya da kyau ba ce halin da muke ciki ko ta'aziyya ana iya yi da waya wadan da kuma ake da kusanci da su to ba sai an je waje da an taro ba to kula ga wannan an yafe wa kowa insha Allah ta'ala daga nan kowa yana iya tafiya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya kawo mana karshen annoba din kuma muna roƙon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rasu Allah ya sa sun yi shahada amma mu da muke rayi Allah ta'ala ya sa karshen mu ya fi farko mu kyawo Allah ta'ala ya kyauta ta karshen mu sannan kuma magana ta karshe abinda sunna ta karantar in an bunna mutum bai tabbata ba a yi jami'in addu'a amma ana so kowa da ya zo magabartan ya kalli alkibla ya daga hannu ya yi addu'a idan ya yi addu'a ya kammala sai ya tafi abun sa to da kai zo abu na karshe ana bukatan kowa daga cikin mai daga hannun sa ya kalli alkibla ya masa addu'a na Allah ya kafarta masa din mutum ya kammala daga nan sai mu tafi to kowa zai addu'a sa ne ta gashin kansa insha Allah musalla Allah ya kafarta masa amin kana summarize the tunci on the message okay the message i have said here Firstly, that religiously death is an admonition. When someone passes on, it should be. Well, those were exclusive live pictures from the Guru Cemetery, where the former chief of staff to the president, Malam Abakiari, was being interred. The body, his body.